This is PhotoStage video tutorial number three. In tutorials one and two, I have shown you about 95% of what you need to know in order to produce your slideshows. However, there are a few additional things that you need to know. First off, while I've been working on these tutorials, there's been an update to photo stage and inserting videos has changed quite a bit. Previously I would go up here and I would drag the video down to where I wanted it and then I would trim it. But as you can see the audio file, the music file now is being cut off. So there's a new way to add videos. I am going to delete this. Press the delete key. Uh, the way to add the video now is to take this red place mark and place it where you want your video. Then you go up to the video you want and you double click on it. That brings up the editor for the video. Then you trim it, which I will do here. And then instead of clicking apply, this is a brand new addition, add this to your media file and then you choose whether you want it at the slider position, the beginning of the timeline, or the end of the track. I want it at the slider position. If I click OK, now it brings a video in and it does not upset the music channel. OK. The other thing that we can do with inserting a video uh, right now the soundtrack for the video that I just inserted and the music file are going to play at the same time. So we need to fade those and with the video track here in order to do that I'm going to show you something new. If you right click and we'll unlink the sound clip. Now the sound clip is down below and if we double click on our music file We'll bring up the editor and we'll need to add another fade. So I'm going to bring this back so we're about at the uh, beginning and I'm going to put a handle here. And then I am going to come up a little bit further and we're going to put another handle at the end of the at the end of the video about right here. Okay. When we're done with that. I can uh, bring us back to the full slide. I'm going to put a couple of more handles in here and then we're going to fade that out. Okay, we've got the fade in there. Now, for the audio that comes with the video, if I highlight, I'm sorry, I have to exit out of this first. If I highlight the video's audio and I right click, I can fade in instead of having to fool around with the uh, video or the audio editor and we will fade it in for one second. I'll right click, click fade out, and now we'll fade it out for a second. So now we have that taken care of. Now you notice here that we added the file and now the music is going to end before the end of the slideshow. Now I don't want to uh, fit the slides to the video if I do that, then all of the previous fades that we have done will be out of sync. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and edit our sound file again. And I'm going to bring this all the way down to right here. And we're going to leave that. We're going to apply it. Now I'm going to go grab the music file again. I'm going to bring it over here. And now we've got two copies of it on our board and if I scroll over here you can see that this runs the full length beyond the slideshow about I don't know 
two minutes and 30 seconds or something like that. However, if we double click on this and we come up to our trim feature, I can uh, trim this all the way down and we'll just take the last part of this file, apply, and I can just move this back. Now we're pretty good. Now this plays out. One last thing that I want to show you here is how to add a narration. Take your slider and move it where you want your narration to begin. Click narrate and we'll start the recorder going and I'll talk. I'm Lou Petkus. My wife and I had a great time in New Orleans and certainly hope that you have enjoyed this slideshow. Alright, I think that's pretty much it for this part of Tutorial 3. I have just a few more effects to show you. They're located under these tabs on the upper left of the screen. The first will be adding a crop to your image. And I'll use this image here, uh, the first image in the slideshow. If you highlight the image, come up to the Edit tab and choose Crop. And here you can crop the image. You can bring it down and crop it in half. I'll just move these so that you can see. But on this image, I think just bringing up the bottom a little bit will add to the image. We're going to leave it like that, and then we're going to add another effect to this same image, and that is going to be an image overlay. So I will click Image Overlay. And up here, we will overlay an image, but we need to choose that image from one of our folders. So I'm going to click the Browse button, and we're going to need to drill down through our file folders to find the image that we want. I will do that. Okay, there we go. There's a website called Cool Text where you can go make some nice fancy text and then save it as an image. And I have done that here and I will bring that in. And here now you can see um, this is a title for Mardi Gras World. And here again we can choose where we want it. I'm going to put it at the top. We'll reduce the margin a little bit. Just a little bit more. And that looks pretty good. So that finishes uh, that effect. I'm going to use the overlay effect again and choose a different image. And this is probably one you might use a little more than, than the cool text. So I'm going to click Overlay. And we're going to drill down again. And I am going to choose this picture. This is a picture of uh, Oak Alley Plantation. And I took a picture of their sign, and I thought it would be nice just to add that picture as an overlay so that when you look at the picture, it'll give you a little explanation of what you're looking at. Now here we can adjust the size. I'm going to adjust that up just a little bit. That's pretty good. And we can reduce our margin. That will bring it back down into the corner, and I like what that does. This image is from Mardi Gras World. And I'm going to show you how to do a zoom animation. We'll just click zoom here. And I want it to zoom from smaller to larger. So I'm going to bring this up. Each one of these little handles we can bring down. I'm going to bring it in. Okay. That's the starting zoom position. And then this is the ending zoom position. You can zoom from large to small or from small to large. Okay, so now if I come down here, I'm going to click on the image, and let's go ahead and play it, and you'll see what it looks like. So the image zooms out.
sometimes it can be a little boring to see the same images o over and over and over just kind of flash in front of you and the zoom gives it a little bit of interest. Alright, uh, the next feature I'm going to show you is under the effects tab and it's called vignette. Uh, this is a pretty common thing that a lot of photographers do is to darken the edges of the image to accentuate the main topic. So I've clicked on it and I will increase the intensity and you can see the edges darken ever so little. They don't need to darken very much and I can also increase how far in the vignette actually goes. I was pretty aggressive on this, but that looks pretty good. The next thing I want to show you, which is the last thing, is adding text to your image. You have a lot of choices here, and I'm going to leave you experiment for yourself on these choices. Also, there were choices under the other tabs that I'm going to leave you explore. But the text I'm going to use is this one right here. The first thing I want to do is choose a color. So I will click on this and I'm going to use a yellow. It's going to show up very nicely on that dark background. Click OK. And then I'm going to type in my text. Mardi Gras World. OK. And one other thing I want to do is I want to change the font. Uh, that's a nice font. It's used a lot but sometimes it can be a little boring. So, <laughs> so if I go up here and I click on the text, I can come down and choose a, a, a different text. Uh, this one probably would work pretty well. Whoops, I got to highlight it first, I'm sorry. Come down here and choose uh, a different text. This one will probably work pretty good. And there we go. So that is the last of what I have to show you. Tutorial 3 is done. Enjoy creating your own slideshow.